Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. Today, no action-packed comedy video on how to lose a dream, but I would just like to relax, sit back, drink a cup of tea, and uh, look together with you at some books that I have read over the years about lucid dreaming. So yes, this video is quite straightforward. I'm going to review some books. And some of, the, some of these books have a lot in common. They all teach you how to lucid dream. But some of them are quite different. And so I would love to show you the differences between these books. So at the end of the video, you can make up your mind which book you would like to read. So right now you're looking at all the books that I have read and that I will be talking about today. Now, before I start, just quickly want to say that if you've never heard of lucid dreaming and this is the first time hearing about it, reading a book about the subject is a great way to get started because not only do you get all the information you need, but also you are reading a book. So you will be priming your brain so to speak, to be interested in the subject and have your very first lucid dream if you haven't. Okay, so let's get started with the first book. Exploring the World of Lucid Dreaming by Stephen LaBerge. It is a scientific book. Stephen LaBerge uh, is a PhD and he has written a lot of exercises in this book that are very, very detailed and very to the point. So it is also, the book is very dense with information. So if you really want to get to know everything you need to know about lucid dreaming, then this book is probably the best in the market because it is, first of all, the most popular, but with good reason. Because in the book you get exactly what you need. You get it presented in a way that you understand why it works. So it's more scientific. Now I want to read a small passage. I'm gonna try to do that with most books so you get a bit of an idea of the way the book is written. On the back of the book it's written that this practical workbook will show you how to use your dreams to solve problems, gain greater confidence, improve creativity, face and overcome fears and inhibitions, create a new sense of empowerment and liberation in your life. Stephen writes himself that the basic structure of this book is as follows. You will be guided through preparations for learning to have lucid dreams, provided with plainly spelled out techniques for learning lucid dreaming. And then you will be shown how lucid dreaming can be applied to your life. If you practice diligently, the lucid dream induction techniques should significantly increase your frequency of lucid dreaming. And this kind of way he approaches the book. So what exactly will be in this book? I will say this once and then for the other books it's not necessary because most books have this outline. So they start with teaching you how to make a dream journal, how to write down your dreams, which I also talked about on the channel, how to do reality checks, and how to induce a lucid dream at will. And then a lot more. But these are the, like these basic techniques and principles are discussed in most of the books that I will be talking about. But yes, this book, again, in short, it's scientific, it's to the point, it has a lot of information, and in general, it is probably the best book on the subject. All right, next book. The next book on the list is Lucid Dreaming, A Gateway to the Inner Self. Interesting here is that this book is written by someone who is a part of the International Association for the Study of Dreams. It is an association that shares and educates on the subject of lucid dreaming, based in the United States. But you can visit their website, which is www.asdreams.org, and I will share all the websites as well in the description. So for this book, which is written by Robert Wagoner, you will find his website and you will find this association. Now this association is quite big, it even has magazines that you can read on uh, information on lucid dreaming. Now a bit different from this book is that chapter 5 until 8 are a little bit more abstract and a bit more spiritual in the sense that it's talking about very deep meaning that you can get from the unconscious mind 
that you confront in lucid dreaming. So that might be a bit more abstract and it might not be exactly what you're searching for if you are a more rationally minded person, so to speak. But apart from that, this book covers everything you need to know, just like the book from Stephen LaBerge and Howard Reinfeldt called. Now I would like to just read a passage from this book. It is a lesson that he shares and he does this a lot in the book where he talks about something and then proceeds to give you a short, powerful lesson that you can take away. And in this case, this particular case, he says that when you focus on your goal, you attract your goal. When you focus on fears, you attract your fears. In a mental space, your focus matters because it naturally draws you to the area of your focus. This is uh, beautiful for life in general, but it applies in this case very specifically to how you create the lucid dreaming world. Because when you are lucid, you are creating the world by your beliefs. And these kind of things he talks about a lot, these kind of lessons is very great about this book. Very easy to remember, highlight, and get back to it later. So the next book is not really a book on how to lose a dream, but it is one where a lot of dreams are recorded. This book is called Dreams That Change Our Lives and is published by the same association I was talking about a little bit back. So in this book, you get a lot of different stories that altered people's lives to a certain extent. Now, that may be a, a huge change. People's entire lives have been turned around or some small lessons. But in general, if you need to be inspired by the power and possibilities of dreams, then this book is great. To give some examples from what they are talking about in the book, they talk about dreams that change people's relationships, families, their career choices, also people that face nightmares. Their nightmares can be solved through different types of dreams, dreams that heal people. Some of the things written are really mind blowing. So the next book is Are You Dreaming? by Daniel Love. And I will start with reading a bit of why he started writing this book and how he got into lucid dreaming. My journey into lucid dreaming started young and I was five years old. I started to suffer terrifying nightmares. So as a mechanism to survive my fear of sleeping, I devised a method to overcome them by attempting to catch the moment where waking turned to dreams. This practice eventually resulted in my own personal discovery of lucid dreaming one which cured my nightmares and transformed my fear of sleep into a love of dreaming. What had been a world of terror overnight became a magical world of adventure. And he says that the love of lucid dreaming has lasted his entire lifetime and 30 years later, he's still as excited about lucid dreaming as he was back then. For the rest, Daniel Love has a YouTube channel a website which is linked below in the description and he gives a lot of different techniques on how to induce a lucid dream that's quite unique to this book because the amount of techniques that he actually discusses is really big and this book is easy to read once again covers everything you need to know and also talks about the possibilities that become available to you when you learn how to lucid dream all right, the next book is A Field Guide to Lucid Dreaming. Now, this one is personally my favorite because this book is very well written. It's written in a sort of less serious way, not as scientifically written, but more from a writing way, as if you're reading a Roman. Now, the book itself is themed in such a way that you imagine yourself to be on a journey and you are being guided by a guide, a field guide. This uh, book has a lot of images, it's very visual and that makes it a lot easier to read and a lot more fun as well. Images like these make it a lot more unique than the other books which all of them have 
basically no photos at all. Now I want to read a little bit from this book. So this is what they write on what they will teach you. This book is filled with step-by-step -step advice, stories from the dream world, and wonderfully maddening ideas. It's based on our own experiences with a decade of lucid dreaming, as well as the real life experiences of many other lucid dreamers, writers, and scientists. Our goal was to report back from the dream world and write about the things that we actually observed and experienced. You would just have to read the book and see for yourself, but it is definitely very appealing in the way they write and the way they visualize everything. Now, the last book on the list that is actually about lucid dreaming is Dreaming Yourself Awake. This book is very unique because it doesn't only talk about how to learn to lucid dream, which it does in a very, very brief way in that they don't spend too much time on it. It's also a very small book. It's the smallest of all of them. And now I will just read to you a part of the introduction where you really get the sense of what this book is about. In all the great spiritual traditions where meditation plays an important role, the watchword is awaken. This call is echoed in the Western science of psychology. The implication is that throughout our lives we have been asleep, in essence dreaming. Of course, if we sleepwalk through life, we will invariably stub our toes on unseen realities. Given life's uncertainties, we need to be as awake as possible to its opportunities and dangers. Dreaming yourself awake is directed as much to our awakening from life as a dream, as it is to our becoming lucidly aware as we dream at night. Both situations, and our awakening within them, are intimately connected. Such an awakening brings with it the clarity and freedom that form the basis for genuine happiness. So he goes into specific meditation techniques. He goes into the history of Eastern religions and how that connects with awakening both in waking life as in the dream life. Very interesting read, very short and definitely interesting to add to the already existing more Western books. Now, the last books on this list are not actually lucid dreaming books, but they are astral projection books. My tea has become cold. That's not a problem because cold tea is also good for you. However, the books that I have left, if you've paid attention, there were three more are not actually on lucid dreaming, but they are about astral travel, which is defined as the ability to travel via a second body to places that are, you could say, different dimensions. Now, without going too much into it, I wanted to add this last because I have read them and also because it is very inspiring. The author himself who goes through these experiences is not at all a spiritual person. He was a businessman and began to have these experiences that drastically altered his life, as is written on the back. But in the book, he this explains exactly what happened. And it is a very, very interesting and inspiring. Let me read to you one of these reviews. This book is by a person who is clearly a sensible man and who is trying to tell it like it is. No ego trips just a solid citizen who's been out a thousand times now and wants to pass his experiences on to others. If you are really interested in diving deep into your mind, then this series is absolutely amazing. Well, that's it. That's already all of the books that I wanted to talk about today. I hope I inspired you to read one of these books. Decide for yourself which one you like most. Check out all the links in the description of the people that wrote the books, the organization that I talked about, and get inspired to explore your mind.